Ugh, I need a break. Hey everyone, how's it going? Uh, Matt back with another Rail Ramblin'. And uh, yeah, it's been about a month or maybe even longer since we last spoke. And I've gotten a ton done to the layout. So I wanted to show you really quick uh, in this video. Let's take a look. One month's worth of work. Here we go. Ready for it? One month's worth of work right there. You see that? I don't know if it's, it's a little dark. There's a hole right here. Drilled in that cork all the way through the plywood. And that's it. That's all I got. That's all I've done over the, the past the past month. Oh man. <sighs> Guys, I'm I'm burnt out. I'll be honest with you. I've I've put a lot of work into building this bench work and laying the track and getting a train running. Um, and that was my goal is to make, make all that happen. Um, and, you know, in about four months time, I, I did it all. And uh, uh, it took a lot out of me. So I, I'm kind of burnt out right now, to be honest. I don't think that's a bad thing. I think it's a thing that happens. Um, you know, you, sometimes you got to, like, just take a little bit of a break from your hobby so that they don't become work. I don't want this to become work. So uh, I'm going to step away. This layout is a long-term hobby for me. It's not, um, it's not going anywhere. Uh, I'm not going anywhere. Um, and, uh, you know, when I'm, when I'm enjoying it, it's a pleasure to build and work and be in this basement. When I'm not enjoying it, it's tough. I'll, you know, I'll be quite honest. It's a little tough to get down here and feel motivated. And I don't want to, like... I don't want to screw stuff up because I'm, I'm, and I'm at the point right now where I'm laying track and I don't want to screw stuff up because I'm just kind of moving, moving to get it done. You know what I mean? Uh, and I'm not taking the time and the care needed to do it right. Um, I think it happens to everyone with model railroading. You, you see it all the time. A lot of guys just, just do it in the wintertime, you know, summertime. They're doing all the stuff around the house that needs to get done and then in the wintertime. Uh, they model railroad. So I imagine as winter rolls around again and it gets cold outside and I don't want to be outside, I'll be down in this basement a lot more often working on the layout. I got some cool plans for live streams as I work um, and all sorts of other things. Um, now that I got this new camera, um, it's going to really give me a lot of flexibility to do some cool stuff. Um, on top of that, I've got some fantastic news. Uh, turns out I'm going to be a new dad again. <laughs> We've got a little boy on the way, which is great. I've got two girls right now uh, and, uh, and another little boy. So it's awesome. Uh, it's scary as well. I'm going to be a 40-year-old changing diapers again for the first time. <laughs> um, and when I told my dad that, he says, yep, been there. And I thought about it. I was like, oh, yeah, I guess my dad was that age when my sister came around so so uh, uh nothing new but um uh, you know responsibility so so what i'm doing is i'm doing a lot of uh work around the house to get the house ready for the new baby things that i've been kind of meaning to do but i've been putting off because i was working on my um other house i've got my old house is now a rental house that i have so i was working on that really really hard to get ready and then we moved into this house and I built this room and I started on this layout. I've just been doing a lot of work in construction. It hasn't really stopped. Um, but something's going to have to take a little bit of a break so I can get this house kind of ready for baby. I've got um, some, some electrical, you know, um, things that need to get addressed around the house. Uh, I need to get a couple of rooms painted, um, furniture purchased and uh, put together. Um, for like the baby room, uh, just a lot of stuff, just a lot of stuff between now and then, a lot of organization, you know, trying to get, uh, trying to, trying to make space for another person in our lives. So very, very happy about that. I'm really happy that, uh, my girls are not really into model railroading. Um, they like watching the trains run, but that's going to be about it. I'm not sure my son will want to model railroad with me, but I don't know. If he, if uh, if uh, 
If he's anything like his father, he will. <laughs> I see those guys on YouTube that are like, they're young guys and they've, you know, they've uh, been working on their uh, layout with their father in the, in the basement or in the spare room or wherever it may be. And now they're sort of turning into like grown men moving out, but they're still coming back home to work on the layout with the dad. It's kind of fun. Uh, anyway, so this update isn't, or this, I guess it's a real rambling, but it's also sort of an update. There's not a lot going on right now. I'm not going to do a regular update video until I get more done. I do have some videos recorded, some tutorial videos about laying down um, roadbed, as well as uh, a few more rail rambling ideas. So I'm going to continue to put out videos um, uh, as I feel like it, um, all the way through the fall and into the winter. And I imagine as winter comes around, um, this will pick back up again. Um, I want to, uh, I, there's, I, I need to get the track, I need to get a loop of track finished so I can get trains running in the loop. Um, that's probably the main thing I'll be doing this fall. Um, and then into the winter, it'll be laying the rest of the track and super detailing and starting to get some scenery in. Start working on operations and all other good stuff. All right, well, not the funnest of videos, unfortunately, but, uh, you know, it's a reality of the hobby. We're not doing little things here, right, us model railroaders. We're not, we're not, we're not making little model kits that take a good amount of time, but when you're done, you can sit on a shelf and then be like, and then take a break or move on to the next one. I mean, what we're doing is like a model kit that's the size of an entire room, right? So it's really involved. Um, and, uh, and, uh, yeah, I mean, occasionally you gotta take breaks from that kind of thing. Everyone does it. So, um, yeah, that's it for me today. Thanks for stopping by. Um, uh, follow me on Instagram, uh, as soon as I start doing more work to the layouts, you'll be seeing it there first before anything. So, um. That's the best place to to, uh, to get updates from me at this point. Um, also, check out my uh, website. I've got a, a pretty um, pretty uh, extensive amount of stuff on that site from not only this layout but um, previous layout, the previous layout I worked on, uh, as well as a lot of the research of the area that I'm modeling. So, uh, so go there and check that out as well. Alright guys, thanks for uh, stopping by and I will see you very soon, I promise. <laughs>